Muhammadan way is significantly attributing their power and their connection to her holy presence. We have a very strong connection to her holy soul and her nazar and that uh, her love, her madad and her support always dressing and, and blessing inshaAllah. And the love of Sayyidatina Zainab salam has an immense power, has an immense proximity to the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and most of all to Allah his rida and satisfaction for such a powerful character in Islam, such a powerful character and symbol of faith in Islam and that the manners and good character of what they represent. That in the face of every difficulty as a reminder for our own lives that nothing in this life is supposed to be simple and the symbolism of Allah's love was extreme difficulty, not uh, extreme ease. And the symbol of that love that she endured of difficulty and the character in which arise of an outspoken believer to propagate in the face of immense oppression of what happened and the atrocities of what happened and is a symbol in our life to give us strong character, to give us resilience in our faith that no matter what difficulties come that we stand for the truth, we propagate the truth and that Allah is the defender. And Allah to the victory belongs Allah and our life is a life of struggle. By keeping that light and love of her holy presence, her message, her ideals, her good character is in essential in our lives and that's why we name our children after her name, we, we give the symbol of her love and her example. So it means that these lights and these blessings to dress us. And that their nazar be upon us for whatever they endured of the immensity of their lives, imagine how much blessings they can send into our lives. If they endured and Allah granted them so much success within their souls that when we name our children after her holy name, when we gather and meet for their holy associations, when we keep that torch of love alive, because every year becomes more jahaliyyah, more ignorance. Every year everything becomes more ignorant when we keep the light and the love and the flame of Allah the love of Sayyidina Muhammad the love of the holy companions, the love of Ahlul Bayt, the family. When we keep that torch alive and that love alive, it has an immense reward and an ever darker existence and planet we keep that love alive, a, a torch of faith and Allah dress us inshaAllah, bless us by means of that. And most of all the nazar of these holy souls, nazar is the gaze that when they see somebody's remembering them, then they send from the lights that Allah has given and their account in heaven has no end. They can write infinite checks of barakah. By keeping this love with them, what immense blessings can come to us, nobody can perceive. What difficulties can be taken away from us, nobody can perceive. And what stations will be granted to us of proximity on the day when there is no relief but you be with whom you love. And the love that you were taught, the love that you attained within the heart, what type of mir miraculous reality will Allah open for these ashiqeen that when difficulty or punishment is destined for every human being based on their mistakes, their character, their, their bad deeds that we, we've given to ourselves as, as an oppressor and we admit to ourselves our oppression against what Allah has commanded for us. But what type of relief love brings? That when we find ourselves bound to be punished for the bad character, what will open from Allah of a surprise of what that love was, what the power of that love was. When Allah allows that ishq to be rewarded, 
means that right before you think a difficulty going to come to you, if Allah allows their love to begin to intercede, to shield and ask, Ya Rabbi don't punish for our sake, don't punish because they showed that love that if you've given me anything let me to shield them from difficulty. And this we can see in our daily lives that you see a difficulty coming, imagine you have some sort of authority and you see somebody about to be punished and you put yourself in front of them and say, please for my sake don't punish them. And that's what the character that Allah wants to even show all of humanity on the Day of Judgment. That these people are noble and holy because look at their character, that even in this day, the day in which there is no relief for anyone, how they try to intercede, how they try to shield from difficulty and they don't need to. They're not like dunya people that they recline in their ease and comfort, shut the door and they don't care who's suffering. But these are people whom they live their life for Ummat Muhammad and the, the greatest calamity is yet to come and that will be called Yawmul Qiyamah, the day of judgment and Yawmul Mashar and the day of rising in which their presence is something completely un, un, unknown and we don't understand the extent of their intercession, the love they have and how that love will shield us from Divinely anger and Divinely punishment inshaAllah bi izzatullah because Allah will take rida and satisfaction in showing the world, look at their noble character, look how they sacrifice themselves, they'll give from their account to shield you against your bad character. And the all of creation will be witnessing how love saved them, not their actions, not their actions. There's nobody who will be on a day of judgment in which Allah will be burning them and the heat of His anger will be cooking them that they can stand up and say, no but I prayed and I fasted Ramadan. That praying and that fasting you'll be, you be shy to mention it. Is there nobody who can stand up to give a, an answer to Allah through difficulty but Allah will show, look, look how their love will intercede. The souls whom are immensely blessed if they come to shield against the punishment, Allah will allow all of creation to see how that love shields and intercedes from difficulty and punishment and they bite their fingers wishing that they had a drop of that love that they had identified that love and that reality and that character. Imagine then what they will feel if they had a drop of that love for Sayyidina Muhammad for Ashab and Nabi for Ahlul Bayt and Nabi Means that the, all of creation will, uh, that they wish that when they had heard something like that they would have went to that love. And they thought that their amal would save them, their zakat would save them, their hajj in, in, in luxury hotels would save them. They thought their actions would save them. And the only action that saves any creation that Allah won't judge is the action of love and muhabbat. And love and muhabbat is something that we have to show. We show with our deeds and our good character, we show with with all of our, our being and in our families and in our children. When we name our children after their holy names, it's a sign of immense love that please your nazar be upon me. The dearest to me are these awlad and these children that have been brought into the world. The people whom I love were brought into this world that your nazar be upon them, that your beloved name and dress be upon them, that your tajalli be upon them, your character to be upon them. Means every secret has a name and every name has a secret. And we pray that Allah dress us from its understandings and its blessings. That Sayyidina Zainab as salam not only endured the immensity of the torture of witnessing her family, her beloved brother to be killed but was later pushing and pulling off of their hijabs and humiliating and parading them by these armies from the point of Karbala all the way to the capitals within Muslim countries and they were playing drums and celebrating the 
destruction of Imam al Hussein as salam and the humiliation of the women of the family by taking their hijabs off, parading them, tormenting, terrorizing them. And Sidna Sakina salam, the youngest of these children of Imam Hussain salam, they had even pulled the earrings from her ear so that they were all cut. The immensity of the torment that they had and the enjoyment of their drums and, and parading in this understanding of that reality for the Urs, then we don't drum and that it's a solace time for her that this difficulty that endured upon you. Every time difficulty comes to our lives let your nazar be upon us and that your, your dress to be upon us. Your difficulty is over but ours just beginning. We see the immensity of calamity all around and the darkness that surrounds us that from from this association of ish and love that to dress us with your nazar. Dress our children with your love whom we're all going astray. Dress us with your nazar and the immensity of your faith and character, uprightness and that strength in your character to dress our families, dress our loved ones and in these days of darkness that your madad and support to be upon us, upon our heart and our souls. And that to be in front of us and to the right of us, to the left of us, behind us, above us and below us, to be surrounded by your ishq and love and that your madad and support to be dressing our hearts and firmness. InshaAllah bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Inshallah, yeah, he will describe the, the name and the occasion of her birth, inshallah. Uh, Maqam Sayyidatina Zainab alayhi salam in Damascus or Mubarak, 15th of Rajab. It was five years after the Muslims had accompanied the Prophet and his family in the migration to Medina when the Holy Prophet's daughter, Hadrat Fatima alayhi salam, gave birth to a little girl. When her father, Imam Ali alayhi salam, saw his daughter for the first time, Imam Hussein, who was then almost three years old, was with him. The boy exclaimed in delight, O oh father, Allah has given me a sister. At those words, Imam Ali alayhi salam began to weep, and when Hussein alayhi salam asked why he was crying, his father answered that he would soon come to know. Fatima alayhi salam and Sayyidina Ali alayhi salam did not name their child until a few days after her birth, for they awaited the Prophet's return from a journey so that he could propose the name. When finally the baby girl was brought before him, he held her in his lap and kissed her. The angel Jibreel came to him and conveyed the name that was to be hers, and then he began, began to weep. The, the Prophet asked why Jibreel wept, and he answered, O Prophet of Allah, from early on in life, this girl will, will remain entangled in tribulations and trials in this world. First she will weep over your separation from this world. Thereafter she will bemoan the loss of her mother, then her father, and then her brother Hassan. After all this she will be confronted with the trials of the land of Karbala and the tribulations of that lonely desert, as a result of which her hair will turn gray and her back will be bent. When the members of the family heard this prophecy, they all broke down in tears. Imam Hussein salam now understood why his father had also wept. Then the Prophet salam named her Zainab. Amen. InshaAllah address us and bless us inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. InshaAllah the pictures in the of the maqam of Sidna Zainab as-Salam 
in Damascus in the area of Zainabiyya, entire little city there. There's the pictures of the maqam there, anyone who wishes to see ourselves at that maqam asking for her, her beatific nazar and beatific lights and beatific tajallis and take into that association all whom you love. That see your children there, see your, your family there under her nazar and that she dress us and bless us. On this occasion in which Allah will be dressing her soul for her anniversary of, of her difficulties and the passing of this life, when we remember their passing is that it's a night of celebration for them, their union into the heavens and all that they struggled of difficulty on this earth, continuous dressing and blessing upon them when we sit and remember them. It's like their accounts are filled with lights and they just want to give to all who remember them. So we ask that Allah to include us in those lights and in those dressings and that they reach into our souls, into our loved ones, that that light enters into their souls for their faith to become strong or regain their faith and good character and that inshaAllah Allah allow them to intercede for us on Yawmul Mashar, on the Day of Judgment and Yawmul Qiyamah on the days of tribulations inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Oh, ya Shabbat, ya Rasul Kareem.